All right, guys, welcome. We got an AC down. Let's see if it's worth the video or not. I've been out of town for a while. Got back on a Friday night. I've been working Saturday and Sunday now. So working the weekend, it's Sunday. It's running. So we got cold air coming off the top. But since the fans are running, that means our compressors are tripped or bad. So not a good sign. Uh, open these up real quick. There is water though that makes me want to believe that at least one compressor is on or something. So let's see if it's a blower issue or uh, compressors are not acting right. And we got an Allied commercial here. Moment of truth. I step and the other one's sweating. So let's go check out our blower. Obviously, the compressors are working. And that's our blower axis. So if this is belt driven, then we got a broken belt. All right, moment of truth again. No resistance. Here we go. So I think it completely broke. Yeah. Motor is uh, spinning there, so we're fine. This is a fairly new unit. What size they got? AX54. I might have that, but if not, I'll show you the universal belt that we use. All right, so now I got a bunch of 30s and a 60. Not gonna fit, but we do have this. So let's go save the day and we'll be back tomorrow. All right, so surprisingly, it's not even iced up. I should have turned it off when I went down. Do that right now. So we're not gonna have to run the blower by itself. We can just turn the cooling back on right away. And I've shown these plenty of times before. Lifesavers for this exact situation. These belts always give out on me on the weekend and I don't have every belt imaginable they're always something different even if i try to carry the same ones so we're gonna measure the old one as best as we can and then put it in say so we have to make an adjustments and these are just adjustable size belts you notch them out all right, so like I said, we just measure the old one, got the new one in there, that's all good. I use those temporary, I think you can leave them in, but I wouldn't recommend it, it's more like a tool, and plus it's way more expensive. So it's a Sunday, we'll get them by for the day, they'll have cooling until I can have time in the morning to go get that on Monday. Uh, I have to go to the supply house for a lot of things anyway, so we'll pick that up for them. Come back, remove that one, put it in. Uh, very easy. All I need is, is a needle nose to fish out the little uh, clips. I do have a video where I go more in depth in it. I'll leave a link for that. And uh, let's turn this back on. Let's see if the blower comes on first. But I'm appreciating the easy ones since I've been back in town. So we got that going now. All right, so we're gonna wait a few minutes to see if the delay kicks in. Make sure it's operating normally. And then we'll check our temp split. All right, let's see how she's doing. Just let it run for a few minutes, trying to get in the shade, because it's like 105 today. So we have 60s supply and about a 90 return now. Uh, this is a kitchen area, so it's super hot in there. But I just want to make sure we had a decent temp. I would like to see it in the 50s at least, but it is good in there. It's just, it's been off for a day or so. So uh, they called it in last night. So let's, and it might've been down before then, but let's uh, get everything out and then go down. Just make sure the vents are good. We'll do more checking when I get the belt tomorrow, but I don't think we have issues with anything else. It's just the belt. I gave out. 
Oh, it's a hot one, man. So, got them going. Um, like I said, we use that that belt there. And I went inside to check the vents. Everything's good. It felt really cold in there, actually. It's just that, you know, it's a kitchen. There's a ovens and stuff, so there's a lot of heat that gets sucked up. So, it's going to take a little while to get a good reading on the temperature split. But it, it's very cold in there. I walked in, and it felt refreshing and you know good and usually they call a another co a cheap company for the overtime calls because we charge overtime uh, especially on the weekends but they had us come out here so we took care of them and when they cry about uh overtime i think i just think it's funny because like we pride ourselves ourselves on getting things working and, and doing a repair rather than replace, uh, you know, 90% of the time. Uh, you gotta be honest with the customer, so if it needs to be replaced, we replace it. But uh, yeah, they've been complaining about spending a lot of uh, high invoice uh, bills on the other company. I'm like, yeah, their uh, labor might be cheaper, but they rack it up, you know, make it worth it for them, so. And then they start replacing stuff that doesn't need to be replaced. So I've already done a whole bunch of second opinions. Uh, this summer has been a lot of second opinions where it's not the compressor, it's something else, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, we charge overtime, but I pride myself on having everything I need in the van. So I will 99% of the time get them going somehow I stock everything I need unless or except for like compressors and coils obviously I can't carry that stuff but anything else belts contactors thermostats controls like all that stuff I have everything and uh, motors and stuff like that so we will get them going that's what uh, we don't even charge a lot for overtime but that's what I think we're worth on you know on the weekend and stuff that's where we come in clutch so we got them going they're super happy I will come back tomorrow with the original belt uh, grab a spare and all that and then we'll see what else comes up tomorrow I got a, a couple other I think second opinions to do and we'll see how the Monday goes back here belt worked overnight got the new ones here and we're gonna swap one in hopefully we don't have to adjust anything then even though we're not the only company that services this customer, I'm gonna do them a solid. I felt like being generous today. We'll leave them a spare here and um, put it in my notes. Of course, we're gonna charge them for both. And uh, you know, that'll just look good on our part that we did that. Cause obviously the, if it's been serviced before, they didn't do that. There's a, just helps out when you have a spare. You know, good practice if you can, you know. All right, so I was trying to be slick and just put the new one over, but it was way too tight. There was no way it was like, it was gonna break if I put it on like that. So it's not that bad. You just loosen up the nuts on either side. This one, I believe it was counterclockwise to push it in and then clockwise if you need to pull that out, pull it out. And I put the new one on and we got good tension, but this looks like it's pulling this way on this pulley so i'm gonna see if i can make an adjustment that's probably maybe that's why it snapped it was too tight and there's like uh it's not lined up right so just see if we can do a quick fix on that so a belt held up it's a good one to have these are the crescents i used to exactly for this to adjust uh belt tension and blowers those are the all-in-ones i have those are all the sizes i need two crescents Flying ratchet for the Allen wrenches because I keep them on my bag like that with the bit holders. Can do everything we need. Got the extra belt. I just kind of brushed this out a little bit from the old one that was like scraping and rubbing out. Uh, I'm not going to do a full cleaning today, but we're going to leave that spare for them so the next one can just change it out. But yeah, uh, I got to tighten these on the side. So I had to clear out the drain there. Bunch of gunk that came out. Now it's draining water fine. 
they're gonna need maintenance soon. All right, so these are the two ACs in question. I already removed the caps, but we got these to hook up to. I mean, if I'm going by beer can cold, they are both working technically. They're both sweating, they're both cold, but we're gonna check. And uh, I don't know, I'll see if I can find the manufacturer stuff on this one, right there. And uh, see if they're up to spec because they're, uh, they're not getting a whole bunch of cooling, but I, we suspect and we kind of verified that it's, maybe this is an office turned into a kitchen because they're having makeup air and exhaust issues, but they want to know if these are good because another company recommended to put in a third unit. So we'll see. Let's just check this real quick. Clamps are on. We'll see if we got a good connection. And uh, we'll see what it what it tells us. All right, so I'm just gonna try something before I go too far with it. They're both 410 units. Based on the readings, this one's uh, undercharged. This one's overcharged. Not 100, percent but I'm just gonna try stealing some and putting it in this one instead of doing a recovery and then adding new refrigerant for no like reason. I just want to test this real quick, so we're gonna do that real quick. Uh, see if any if it helps the subcooling because that's what I'm looking at right now is the subcooling superheat on them is not horrible this one is a little high and the subcooling is a little low this one has I believe low superheat and high very high subcooling so we'll see so on this one it did help but it's still pretty ridiculously high so like I said I'm pretty sure they're due for a cleaning and that's going to be like the major issue when we clean it we'll do the check again all right guys so it is freaking hot the shade where the cloud just came out right now but the sun is super intense i had to get out of there i'm at the stars next door i'm gonna get a drink it's happy hour here so hopefully i'm done for the day um it was a pretty easy monday got some other things to do tomorrow got some permits to pull we got some units to replace but uh basically on this one they have so many issues i think i'm just gonna pass it off to the other company because they have a cheaper company that comes in when we're too expensive or we, they don't want to pay overtime for us or whatever. So the other company quoted a, I thought they're going to replace that smaller unit maybe because uh, Goodman, which is the bigger one, the five ton, it does, I think it, it cools the back, which is very cold, but it also cools the hallway go, going to the front. And that little one is probably the one for the kitchen or somewhere in the front too. But as soon as you go in there, you feel the heat from the heat lamps where they keep, you know, the food to stay warm. And then they have an open oven because it's a pizza oven and it, and it just, it, it radiates on you. So basically we want to fix the uh, makeup and exhaust. So we had someone that specializes in that come out just in case, which we do often because we are more on the refrigeration side and a little bit of RTUs. We don't really do a lot of split systems, no duct work. Uh, we don't do fresh installs or new construction, anything like that. So I'm not familiar with a lot of that. Um, but we know guys, you know, here and there that do things that we don't. Uh, he came and looked at it because we thought it looked kind of funny. Or, you know, my dad and the other guys, I have yet to go up there and I didn't feel like going up there today. It's 105 outside. So, um, the guy went up there and basically said it was installed funny, like or not the way it's supposed to, but that they made it work, whoever installed it. And the only thing, the only issue he saw is that it's undersized, that whole makeup exhaust system. So he quoted, which we passed, you know, to, to the uh, customer to redo it and upsize to a, what it more or less should be, because it's not removing any heat from the ovens and all that. And there's a, a cooler next to it that just suffers because it's 
sucking up 95 degree air. So, and I've, I've gone for that one before. So he recommended that because he even said if we if they put in a new an extra unit you're still gonna have issues with the exhaust and you know whatever so i'm gonna pass it off to the other company if that's the route they want to go to because it is cheaper they quoted a cheaper price to install a new unit with new duct which you know whatever uh it they might get away with it just because you know more cooling in the air i mean more cooling in the building they'll feel it and they'll be like hey it's fixed you know whatever so i'm gonna let it i'm gonna let it go just you, you gotta know when to let it go and let them do it i'm gonna just you know deny because they wanted me to quote the same thing like what if we did the installation and the duct work on and all that but we don't do that i don't want to do that and i know the real problem that needs to be addressed first before we even add or think about adding tonnage to the building so uh we're gonna just wipe it wipe it clean let them do it and you know we'll see what happens i'll go back when it when they install it see if it helped and like i said they'll probably get away with it but uh you know you can't do everything yourself you can't do everything by the book it's always up to the customer so hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video i think i'm gonna end it here i'm drenched in sweat hopefully i can get out soon and uh stay safe out there stay hydrated it's summer it's crazy and i'll see you guys what the actual f i condemn this unit did somebody try and fill it up it's it's leaking So this one I had wired it up for one stage to work and it is working, but it's in such bad shape. The coil is horrible. I don't trust the compressors. Uh, I know it's 410, but. So yeah, in case you guys are wondering why we are condemning this one, it's, I don't want to say it's beyond repair, but we give the customer the choice and they opted to buy a new unit, you know, get the warranty with it and everything so we're gonna do that for them uh, also it's been this one has been touched way too many times and you saw somebody came after me again so they like to flip uh, between companies and I just don't want to do work over what what they've done so I was like I think enough work has been done to it where I can say we'll replace it or uh, just leave it alone so they opted to replace it so we got the permit pulled already and we're scheduling the crane. We're just coming here to inspect and take notes of anything that we have to do. And just to, so we don't have problems when we install it. I had replaced that motor. That one looks like it's been messed with because I did not leave the wires like that. And then they replaced this one. This one's working. You can't see it, but it's working. So. I had them both on from what I remember to get out as much heat because they, they trip on high head. So this has been messed with. That's not my capacitor. That's probably this one. There was a dual, a dual uh, capacitor here. So all of this is messed up. Obviously we need a new coil. But the evaporator looks rusted to hell, so that would have to be replaced as well. This has had issues too, the blower assembly. Uh, pulleys have broken, so we've already replaced that. But I think it needs uh, work there too. So considering, I mean the motors are good, but the coils, both coils in and out, blower assembly is shot. Electrical is not great either. We're gonna have to clean up a lot. And I just wouldn't trust these compressors. Plus, time is money. Uh, replacing this whole unit at a decent cost, half a day. Doing all the repairs, replacing in and out uh, coils, electrical, blower assembly, anything like that. It's gonna take more than a day. So they can't afford to have it down that long and uh, it'll probably cost them 
quite a bit to restore it. I would love to restore it, but you gotta know when to uh, give into it. They've had a lot of issues with it. Adios, until we meet again, and rip you out. What the shit? I've never seen a disconnect almost as big as a unit. It's a little overkill, don't you think?